Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the new minimap module, which is included with the version 3.03 .03 update of the 2D, 3D and Pro Radar Builder. Now, in order to set up your minimap, you're going to want to turn on the uh, minimap module and that button to turn on the minimap module can be found to the upper right of your 2D, 3D and Pro Radar Builder. So it's this button here. So once you turn that button on, you'll get your minimap module. And you can open out that fallout and begin setting up the minimap module. Now there are three main things that you need to, to include in this module and that's a map, a masked material and a masking material. So I'm gonna run the scene while I explain each of these to you and how we were able to set up the map itself so that the tracking is accurate. So in order to get the map texture here, what we did, we simply took a shortcut for the sake of the example scene and we simply took a screenshot of the scene in Overdraw. So we simply turned on Overdraw here and took a snapshot of the scene, cropped the image, and then used that image as a uh, map. Now you could do the same if you want, or you can use some other method. Either way will be fine. Now in order to have the tracking be accurate, and what I mean by that is have your blips be represented on the minimap system, as they would be represented in the scene in the same position, what we had to do was we had to calibrate the minimap itself. And that's actually quite easy to do and I'll show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna exit the scene here and we're going to turn on the calibrate minimap function. And you'll notice a value here and that value is the value that we derive after we've calibrated the minimap. And it's quite simple to do, so I'm going to run the scene here while we have the calibrate function turned on. And then you'll notice that the map is going to be reset to its defaults. Now, in order to calibrate this now, we're going to go into a top-down view here. And I'm going to look at this blip here. So this blip, I know that this blip here is a representation of uh, uh, this blip, this object, actually. And I'm simply just going to open out this folder here and find our uh, minimap, grab the map, and then we're going to scale down the map until it's in a desired position. So I think that it actually looks good here. I think that's a nice uh, representation. So we can go ahead and copy out this value. Once we've copied out that value, what we're going to want to do is simply exit play mode and simply paste in that value and turn off calibrate minimap. Once you've done that, we're done. The only thing you're going to need to do now is if you want to use your own mask and masking materials, then you can add them here. Now we're simply going to run the scene again, and you'll see that the minimap is now tracking accurately. And what's more, you can actually pan throughout your minimap using the pan function. So we can pan through the minimap itself. And we've actually done some testing of this on mobile and it works fantastic on the mobile device. We've actually included some screenshots in uh, on the store. So if you've gone on the asset store, you'll see those screenshots. And really that's all there is to setting up your minimap system. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video when hopefully we go over the more advanced functions of the minimap system, which we're intending to add in the next version. So again, thanks for watching.